this video, we're going to talk about a T-independent humoral immune response. T-independent humoral immunity does not require the need of a T-helper cell to activate. Here we have a B-cell, and on that B-cell surface, there are multiple B-cell receptors. Those B-cell receptors have variable regions that recognize one specific type of antigen, such as this polysaccharide. On this polysaccharide, there are multiple antigenic determinants that are capable of attaching to the B cell receptor variable region. And that's exactly what will happen. This B cell will have multiple uh, antigens bound to the B cell receptors. When multiple B cell receptors have antigen attached, this causes self-activation without the aid of the T helper cell. That self-activation leads to clonal expansion. So here we get a bunch of B cell clones from that self-activation. Following clonal expansion, the clones will differentiate into plasma cells. These plasma cells are then capable of secreting antibodies. These Y-shaped antibodies have variable regions on their, on their, on their um, tips that are capable of attaching to the antigen. So the antibodies here are then capable of attaching to the antigen. The results of antigen-antibody binding can result in one of five different things. Agglutination, activation of complement, opsonization, antibody cell antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity or neutralization this concludes the video t independent humoral immune response